everyone, I'm Ms. Hollywood. Thank you for joining me today. I am so excited. I am here at my alma mater, Cal State Northridge, at the Valley Performing Arts Center, where the Joffrey Ballet School has launched Joffrey West. Students ages 20, 12 to 25 are performing tonight uh, with dances choreographed by So You Think You Can Dance professionals, Mia Michaels and Mandy Moore, and also professionals from the Joffrey West and others. They have had a chance to learn from all of these people and have a summer intensive program. And tonight closes the event with a silent auction. And they will also be raising money to, that auction will be raising money to go to the summer program to help kids that are underprivileged that can't afford to go to the school. So we are really excited to be here tonight and we are going to be getting everyone on the red carpet. So stay with us, take a look. What brings you out here tonight? Well, I'm here to support um, Domingo Zapata and as well would love to see um, Sir to Slay performance. I'm a fan of uh, Gio Delberte and, and, and uh, supporting an art in Los Angeles. We always do that. <laughs> yeah, art is, is art very big yes, for you? Yes, yes. I was, um, and I'm very big fan of Domingo, so can't wait to see his. Uh, I attended two, two shows in Los Angeles in the past few months, and this is the third one. So can't wait to see his new, uh, uh, new work. Yeah, and he's also doing an auction, right? Are you going to participate in the auction? I will try. <laughs> <laughs> he's going to get up there, I think. Yes. <laughs> well, thank you very much. Have a fun time tonight. Thank you. Thank you. Well, talk about why you're here tonight. What What's important about this night? Uh, Alice Elise invited me. Uh, she's a friend of mine. And uh, when she said it was a, for the uh, Joffrey Ballet, uh, there's not enough, well, there's never enough uh, art, I think. And uh, anyone who's promoting any of that, uh, specifically with something as important as the Joffrey Ballet, I'm uh, all about it. You know? And, I mean... Art is like one of those things that's getting lost all the time. It is. There's been a, you know, the proliferation of just stuff, man. It's the internet and, you know, cell phones and uh, we, uh, we tend to forget it. Uh, and then there was a, uh, an absence of representation for it at the uh, National Endowment, you know, for the last few years. And I think that's a travesty. Uh, it's, a, it's a travesty of, 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 of what art does for kids. And I've got a 10 year and a half, 10 and a half year old son who I have to force to read and I have to force to go to the museums with me. And when he gets there, he's great, but it's because he's, uh, you know, he's so busy with games and the whole thing, you know. So uh, I, I think we have to ensure that we don't lose that, you know. And I think shows like So You Think You Can Dance and, you know, American Idol mm -hmm. and certain things that are promoting the arts and tonight we have some of the so you think of your dance choreographers that are here definitely are bringing back some of that you know people are wanting to get into dance and absolutely. wanting to do those absolutely and uh, and the other is uh, you know along with that i think uh, you want to make sure that people know that it's uh, there's a there's a form to all the art it's not just a, a guy who decides that he can do it the next day and and, and shows like the ones that you just mentioned uh, uh showcases that you know it's like uh, you know with the elimination process you see the people who actually make it to the finals and the people who win have a real uh, grasp on the um, the uh, uh, absolute uh, art form of what it is that they're doing uh, and that's important for every every art form you know, visual arts as well as acting and writing you know and tonight there's going to be an auction uh, oh, there, is? there is an auction tonight. I hope you participate because a lot of the money that is going to be raised mm -hmm. is going to help underprivileged kids who can't afford the Joffrey sure. West program. Um, it's going to help them be able to pay to go and do this program the next time. They're not auctioning off the kids. I hope not. Okay, I'm all about it. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> but hey, there might be some cute ones you might want to buy. Did I mention I have a ten and a half year old son? You might need a sister. Down the street. <laughs> right, you might need a sister or something, or a girlfriend. 
<laughs> Let's get it. Girlfriend. Get him Let's out of my it. hair. Well, I hope that you have a good time tonight and enjoy the performance. And it Thank was a pleasure you. talking to you. Thank I you so you. much. Thank you very much. And I hope to see you soon time. on the TV again. You will. You will. And you I have hope. anything else coming up? Oh, I can't talk about it. It's all secret. Come that on. Means, that means I've got nothing. <laughs> <laughs> well, keep in touch. Let me know. Thank, Thank you, you so you much. I'm here with uh, Dante Seven, a choreographer on tonight's event. Dante, talk about tonight. What does uh, what does the past uh, ten weeks, whatever, what does this mean to you? Well, not what it means to me, actually. What it means to the kids is graduation, basically an accomplishment of their works, effort, and talent. For me, it means fulfillment. I love to be a part of a new generation's experience. So. This, this whole event for me was um, a blessing to, to be able to have a privilege to share a part in their, their evolution. And do you feel like you've been able to look at some untapped talent? Have you found some great talent that you never thought you'd find? Absolutely. Always in, in the realm of an event such as this and the experience, talent is always there. But what I've liked is finding the hidden talent. I've found a lot of sleepers here that I don't even think they were aware of their gift. Um, this sport is about being open-minded and preparing yourself in all facets. I believe a great dancer is one who knows all types of dance, not just one specific area. And you brought up a good point because a lot of people don't look at it. Dance is a sport. Mm -hmm. it, it is a big sport. I think it should be part of the Olympics, to Absolutely. be honest with you. I agree. It, I agree. it is a big endurance thing. And what... What do you think, what, do you, what is your hope that these kids walk away from, from this program? More self-confidence, um, an open mind, and the belief that they can do anything. A lot of these kids never experienced hip hop, so for me it was kind of like a Rocky fight at first because I had to win them over and let them know that one, it's okay, and two, that it's within their reach, it's, it's, within, it's within their capability. And do you think that with any of these kids that you're going to use them again with any of your other choreography? Sure. If there's uh, work available for them and it fits them, I would, I would call on them for sure. And what do you have to say to any of those kids out there that are wanting to get into dance or wanting to be a part of you know, a program like this? Follow your heart and dreams. Like, I had to also um, endure this against my family when I chose to do this. Like, I came from athletics and sports, so when I chose to dance, it aroused a lot of suspicion and kind of caused tension. Um, so I say to all those out there thinking about it or dreaming about it, pursue it. We have a small window of physicality in our life, so I feel like if you can use that, and it's, it's, a, it's a blessed gift, and I support it. Awesome. Thank you so much for your time. I appreciate Thank it, and congratulations Thank tonight. You. Thank you.